We are going sailing today, finally! It's power crisis on Unforgettable. Look at this! Oh. Look, the sea is... It's white, all, all those white caps. And the fridge is not working, now we have like a infestation of cockroaches. So it's been a test. The last few days has been really uh, stressful and just like we're gonna go somewhere. I leave the boat in the anchor and enter in a hotel, some shit like that. We are George and Diego. We quit our jobs to renew a tiny 50-year-old sailboat to live on the sea. Once we put ourselves out there, life made its turns and we moved to a more comfortable home, just to lose it a few months later to the biggest hurricane in history. We were already in love with boat life, and as stubborn sailors we are, we didn't give up. 20,000 nautical miles later, here we are in Unforgettable 3 following our dreams how far further from where we started. Subscribe and join our life at sea. Today we are in the small island of Huahine in French Polynesia, where we've been stuck since Covid took the world. Our sailing plans have changed a little, or should I say, a lot, and we are waiting here for permission to sail again. In the meanwhile, we try to have a good time here, but also have to fight with some boat jobs. Early in the morning, we are on the quest for eggs. It has been a week, we cannot find eggs anywhere in Huahini. And we heard that if you get really early in the morning, we may find some. The mornings are the prime time here in French Polynesia. They do everything by the morning. Eggs and some fresh leaves, lettuce, some cabbage maybe. Let's see what else we can find. Yes, we just woke up. I still have my sleeping face. <laughs> but that's fine, we, we really want some lettuce, so we have to come early. Oh, well, that's guaranteed a thing too. Yes. <laughs> we have eggs! After like three weeks, I think we finally got it. Yeah. yeah. You were becoming French, you were learning to do everything with a baguette on your hand. Yeah, since you are just holding the camera. Reaching the bottom. The <laughs> go to the bottom, please. There you go. Mmm, yeah. yummy. Some papaya, some granola. And confinement is over! Na 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 na! These are gone now. Yes! 
We are going sailing today. Finally, after two months, I think, almost two months, we've been stuck in the same place. So this was our long sail. <laughs> Unfortunately, it was just a joke. We are not allowed to sail yet. So we just came to get some water from the yacht club here at the dock because our tanks were pretty empty and it haven't been raining for days. So just decided to come here. You almost believe, huh? Almost believe that we're sailing. Not yet, guys. Yes. Yeah. Here it's where you get watered in Huahini. It's the yacht club, but it's not really a yacht club. Yacht club is the name of the restaurant. But still, they have this nice pier, you can stop and they provide you water with a hose. It's uh, 500 francs, nearly five dollars, and you can uh, get 15 minutes of water. And it's good pressure on the hose, so I think it should be enough to fill our tanks. But if not, you just uh, pay another five dollars and stay 15 minutes extra. And, and then fill sure, everything. Yeah, like to the top and jerry cans and everything, and then you can last a month. And also... Now the, the rain season is, is gone, so we cannot count on rain anymore. That's a pity. We get drier yeah. and drier. <laughs> Everything we can. news unforgettable sailing has now an online shop it's another great way to support our channel and look smart you can choose between t-shirt hoodies towels and many more all with a very nice and great design and remember patrons and apoyadores get a special discount so check it out and we ship internationally yes i really like this one yeah thank this you babe. A nice one, yeah. you're very kind salty hair don't care not bad mm -hmm. okay let's go back to the vlog it's power crisis on unforgettable here to charge our batteries we have a wind generator and two solar panels and this is usually okay if you have sunny days you know we can uh, run the fridge and the computers cell phones fans and lights during the night but for the last uh, i don't know 30 40 days the, the charging dropped for 25 percent and this sucks I did the preliminary checks, the, the solar panels are okay, they are doing what they should do but there's something going on, maybe it's my controller but I cannot assess that so I have to dig deep into the system Just the other day I saw you looking my way I start to contemplate moments that went to waste I why you do that? You drop me like who that? And put me through that? Just to give you a rough idea of what we got here, this is our house serve, house battery bank. We have six batteries of 105 amp hours, so total 630. So under the bed, there's five batteries, and there's another one here under George's uh, closet, locker, wardrobe, yeah, wardrobe. And also here goes. The, the one for the motor, the, for the starting, start the motor and uh, for the windlass, but it's sitting on the living room, and, but that's another story, I won't bother you with that right now. I'ma make it loud, how I made you scream like a cockatoo. Turn the pussy wet by the shoulder rest with the cockatoo. 
What you expect? How I forget these thoughts of you? Don't need no reps, I'm in the jet. Gonna fly the coop, fly the coop. Shotty, don't play Did some tweaks. Play a bit with connections, improve some stuff. And it's looking better, but now there's not much sun. It's kind of overcast, I cannot fully test, but tomorrow I'll have a better idea, but it's promising. For sure. Yes, it is. Uh, oh, I don't like it. I don't like it. Well, we are in our mooring buoy. It has been inspected. Supposedly it's good, but we are close to the beach. So if shit goes bad, we'll be in the beach in a matter of seconds. Perhaps I. Don't say it. Don't say it. I'll, I'll turn the engine on. Huh? guys yeah things are a bit good one jogging but yeah. uh, okay I cannot do it running so yes measures here about quarantine have been reduced so as it's been a month and there's no case here in this island they're starting to allow people to exercise on the street to basically do everything normally but hold on we cannot, there's a still curfew in the night to keep the safety. It's not, for, it's not allowed to transit between islands, so nobody can leave the island or coming in except for emergency and health issues. We can go to Tahiti, but if we go to Tahiti, we cannot come back. So yeah, no, we are good here. Kill it. Where is it? Oh, there, 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 there. There. Okay. <laughs> we just came back from the running and every night we see three, two or three of those little cockroaches and it's so annoying. So despite the electrical issue and the fridge is not working, now we have like a infestation of cockroaches. So it's been a test. The last few days has been really uh, stressful and just like we're gonna go somewhere, I leave the boat in the anchor and enter in a hotel, some shit like that. Because uh, I always care to have a good, good and comfortable home, but sometimes boat life just tests you over and over again. I'm so upset. I'm just always so careful, like we don't bring paper cartons, we take out, take off our shoes outside, like... Oh, even though like we still have this cockroach, like uh, small ones, and uh, the first time I freak out, but now I see like one or two every night, and I'm just getting used to it. They are usually on the kitchen or n close to the nav station, but tomorrow we're gonna do something like... Uh, yeah. Arr. I need a glass of water. That's not cold, by the way, because the fridge is off since we are having the electrical issue. So, warm water! Woohoo! Hey guys, I really wish you could see that. Yeah. <laughs> Diego is showering on the rain outside and he was just running on the deck like he was a bird. <laughs> that was hilarious. So, we leave you here for today. See you tomorrow. Ha 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 ha!
<laughs> okay, today I'm gonna finish this cockroach tissue. I'm really not happy having them on the boat. This just gives the image that we are like not clean, the boat's dirty or something like that, but that's not true, I'm always cleaning everything. I actually talked talk to our neighbor and she said she's having similar issues, so we think they come flying because we are, this anchorage is close to the city and to the land, to land, so... And Diego the other day felt one in the cockpit hitting him, <laughs> so I think they, they are coming from land, but anyway, I think they enjoy the boat, but I don't enjoy having them here. The nice neighbor that is having the similar issues, she gave me this, that's boric acid, and I researched in the internet some mixtures to do with this. There are many different kinds. You can play Breaking Bad here because you can do a lot of different ways. But I will just mix this with some white sugar and milk and then make a paste and place in the, in the spots we saw the roaches coming, mainly on that floor where we saw them hiding. So I hope it works, it has to work. works I spread the thing all around the boat and also roach baits and yeah bug buster <laughs> we have a very dick now and the same thing that was why are you screaming okay sorry <laughs> I'm too excited uh, <laughs> The same thing that was causing trouble to start the engine turned out to be the, the, the issue to, to charge the batteries with the solar panels. And it is the, the grounding, the main grounding wire that comes here from the batteries to the engine block where it's our main ground. Here in Huahini, I don't have uh, anywhere to buy a new one, a uh, battery cable this thick. The solution I found was to make a big jerry rig which I'm not proud of but is the way I found so I have the other the 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 hot the positive one running from the from the batteries to the engine and I I made this one the new ground and now I have using everything on the battery bank not sure if I was clear but the thing is, this one needs to be replaced and it will be a big task. So we need to wait to get to Tahiti or somewhere else, maybe Hayatea? Yeah, no, we're good for now, but uh, we need to to give more work on this. But for now we're good, batteries are charging, engine is uh, starting as it should, so let's put this thing back in place. I want my cabin back, right? Yes, please. <laughs> this will be nice.
time to deliver some messages. I'm really liking this thing, you know? Yes, me too. It's really cool to read the messages and share with everybody. And this week we had quite a few ones and really good. So let's start with some birthday wishes. First one from Patrick Janis to his wife Candace. Patrick sent his love and wish you the very best. We too. Wish you the very best. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Also, Wendy Sue. Wish a happy birthday to Felipe Diaz and wish him to keep always happy and to get a new boat soon. Yeah. Go for it, Filippi! And well, there's also, this is not a birthday, but it's a 16th year anniversary oh, yeah. from, yeah, Annette. She's sending her love to her husband, Jim, and she said they are considering to live in Saba one day. Saba, it's a tiny island in the Caribbean. Beautiful. We, yeah, we had the luck to be there and it's an amazing place. Good and choice. she also says he gets uh, a bit sick with the motion, motion sick. So, hey Jim, you're not the only one. Stay tuned for our next episode. We finally managed to sail and I quite, I quite have a bad time myself. So, yes, <laughs> it's not only you. There's another message here from Nicola and Willem and they're looking for a Northwind also, 435, like just like this boat. So, good luck, you won't regret, guys. This is a great boat. And they sent the following message to their parents. So, to our parents. Margaret, Tim, Angelus and Jesus, we promise we'll be just fine and we won't sink our boat. <laughs> so don't worry and just look forward to visit us, visiting us in the sunshine very soon. Well, not very sunshine right now, actually it's raining. And we love you all from Nicole and Willem and Lincoln the dog. <laughs> really cool guys. Wish you all the best. Nice one. Last from Sergio Junqueira. He is saying, sending congratulations to his twin sons, which just graduated in high school. Congrats, guy! There's a double proud daddy. On yes, there. success in your new challenge. Going to college. Also, time for a shout out to our patrons and apoiadores. Thank you so much, guys. And today we give a shout out to Orlando Bernardino, Peter Ferguson, Pedro Luis Maineri, Ricardo Farias, Ledo Filho, and Henry Sternberg. Thank you so much. Thank you, Marcelo, Marcelo Alves Nogueira, Alexandre Freitas, Edson Oliveira, Marcel de Biasi, Fernanda Castro, Fabio Rosa, and Natasha. I'm not sure I'll get it right, Natasha. I'm so sorry. The schoolmaster. The, <laughs> the schoolmaster. The schoolmaster. Well, you know, you know who you are. Thank you very much, guys. If you also want to be part of the crew, the link is in the description below. You can join our Patreon or our Apoyador crew or donate through the PayPal. Yeah, thank you so much. We hope you have enjoyed this episode. We surely did. And have a great week. See you next episode. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye.